Hi, YouTube. How are you guys? Hi, Gemini. Mm -hmm. I heard I'm doing Scorpio for this time around. So you guys, wait. I'm going to do Scorpio. Don't worry about it. Hi, Gemini. Please remember to like this video. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you to all you guys who do and have been doing that. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you do that. This is your three-day love reading. If you are dealing with a Scorpio or dating a Scorpio or interested in a Scorpio, you have a relationship with a Scorpio, then I will do the Scorpio reading. I'm hearing I'm doing that this week. So don't worry about it. All right, so I'm getting through it. So boom. You get the extended version to this reading. Okay, so first of all, these readings are magically infused. For those of you guys who want to hop to the reading, wait. So you understand what's going on, you moron. So these readings are magically infused. So that means that that's why they're different than the weekly readings. So if you want to get the extended version to this reading, it's more in it, in the extended version. There's a little bit in the YouTube. You can go to the YouTube channel. Now the readings are a lot shorter than the extended readings for the weeklies. Just understand that that's how they go, all right? So now that we've gotten that out of the way, the extended version is available on the Vimeo. You can access the link down below. You can join the Patreon family. It's only 14 slots. I believe there's 11 slots available, actually. So make sure you join the, the Patreon. It's only for some people or certain crew. It's a certain, it's a collective. Now, um, what else do we have here? And then we also have the the website if you want to order private reading you can access the link to the website in the description bar down below as well now now that we've gotten that all the way we have energy healing so barbara eden does energy healing she i linked her free classes down below you guys should check it out it's it was it's been amazing for me so far i've only done one class and i feel amazing and i think you guys need to go check her out i also linked her down below no, she did not ask me to do this i just did it all right so you guys Let's have a look at your connection, you know what I mean, for the three days in the magical um, three-day reading, love reading. What's going on in your connection, Gemini, this week, over these next three days? What's happening? The Gemini Gems. Uh-oh. Okay, Gemini. It, I feel like there's a lot of things that's getting ready to move right now. A lot of blocks are being removed. A lot of them, right? And these are big blocks. These are blocks that have been... Over, overburdening you for quite a while and these blocks are in perception and understanding and seeing things from a different perspective in relaxing into the way that things are in order to receive the outcome that you truly desire you have to accept things as they are now those blocks that were in the way for you Gemini they're gone and so now things are moving in your connection there's communication happening travel happening passion happening this person is sending you arrows of love they're feeling the arrows of love that you send them they're feeling it they're feeling love for you okay there is a sudden change that's getting ready to happen in your connection over these next three days. It's a good change, and it's something that is um, happening like kind of all at once. It's just very something very successful is coming about in your connection. Now, we also have here a tough, burdensome cycle, and your connection is coming to an end, my Gemini friends. And you guys are like this is definitely something that has riddled and rifled your mind a lot and made your mind very like tense. And overthinking and this is a cycle around release like an ability to release having a hard time releasing having a hard time accepting transformation letting go of the past I feel like a lot of you guys had a very difficult past and you're finally letting go of the betrayal that came along with it through um, like a process of transformation rebirth endings and new beginnings death you know there is a there is a burdensome cycle coming to an end and now you guys can have more peaceful days but the worst is over so you know, this might be, you know, with these readings here, it might not be so hard because the readings, like, it feels like it might be kind of cushiony for you guys. So it's not anything you need to worry about, but it's something that you definitely want to come to an end. It's just accepting transformation, accepting loss, accepting an ending. <clears throat> okay. So there's an ending that's going to make way for new opportunity that it has already happened. That you have not accepted this and it's causing conflict inside of you. Okay. So there, there was a revelation, there was a realization in the recent past about a belief system, but in the near future, there is something coming down in your connection. This is really interesting. Something happened before you're really, oh, this is going in the extended, they're saying. Okay, that's why they're preaching my God. Okay. So there is there is a profound realization, Gemini, coming in the near future. You're going to see that over these next three days. Something that was blocking your connection, something your connection was standing on that was a shaky, faulty foundation is coming down. We're going to look more on that. All right. 
there's a major opportunity coming for you in love, Gemini. Like a major. Something like it was it's gone. It's leaving now. Something that was a problem. Something that was either holding on to you too much or you were holding on to that ended already. And this is very profound. There is a very life-changing situation happening here, Gemini. Oh my gosh. So there is an energy of a man here who is very firm, upright, upstanding, honest, truthful. This person that you're connecting with, Gemini, some of you guys are connecting with this person. This person is coming in this way, being very honest about something, speaking very frankly and honestly and truthfully, taking very serious action. You guys are also doing this as well. Now this person's energy is showing up here too. This person is reaching out to you, okay? They're removing certain blocks that you have in your connection or certain blocks you know, if you have a connection with this person, they have their, there's certain blocks that they have in their way that they're removing. And they're going to have a sudden event or a change that's going to lead to success for your relationship. Now, we also have something around short term. It has to do, it's something that has been wanting to be released from your body and your soul and all that stuff. And it's just buying into short term connections. You know, you guys are completing a cycle around short term connections and realizing that it's just narcissism. Okay? Concluding a cycle around dealing with narcissists there's a narcissist or dealing with people who perpetuate those ideals and philosophies, buying into those ideals and philosophies, you're completely letting that go. It's a tough ending, but I feel like the toughness already happened. It's the pain, it's the sadness, it's the regret, it's the remorse that's, that's finally leaving. And you're going to understand something around or about having a short-term connection and short-term relationships, what they really are and, you know, whatever, whatever you really want to think about them. You're going to understand it for yourself. Now, you're going to have a really fun, you're going to have a really fun experience. And I also feel like a lot of Geminis are stepping into really fun, fun, fun times. And there is a profound realization that you're going to be having, though, that's going to lead to really fun times in your connection. So look out for these things. Um, I'm going to now go to the extended reading. So you can follow me. The link's down below. I'll see you guys over there. Bye-bye for now.